Hello everyone, this is Filipino American Heart Channel and I'm going to show you on what are the things that we bring or we prepare during the U.S. Embassy interview. I am sure from the, uh, those who are from other countries, uh, you did the same way as we did uh, the packet that we brought during the, the u.s embassy interview so based on our experience this is the i mean these are the things that we br bring during our interview so the most important thing is the v u.s visa fee receipt or the bpi or the visa fee receipt that we have so since we are three so it's also three times three with all of this visa okay so make sure that you have the visa fee. If you are three applicants for K-1, you have to bring your visa fee. And then another is your passport the, and also the DS-160. So these are the three main things that you need to prepare. If you have an envelope like that, that is transparent, then use that and uh, put separate these three important things because you're going to give that to the uh, security guard at the U.S. Embassy. Okay, they will check these three things first before you get in the building. And then another thing, if you have your NVC letter, bring that also. And if you have eligibility letter, bring that also. So here, this G1135, 1145 that you have, you better um, change that instead your fancies, um G1145 may uh, do it like the beneficiary is the one who have the G1145. Then if you have the form I129F copy, you can bring, but uh, you know, it's no need because you send it already to the USCIS. But to make sure that you are safe, so you better just bring it also. So it's up to you. Form I, anyway, if you have lacking papers, that you needed to send they will give you a chance to send it they will just give you the 221g okay and then supplemental letter if you have and then intent letter make sure you bring also your intent letter intent letter from you and intent letter from your petitioner then make sure you are uh, you bring also the the two by two passport size photo and i'm sure you have already your alien number so all you have to do is write your alien number at the top and then uh, since the alien number is based only from the beneficiary, so the alien number in the beneficiary, you need to put it also to your uh, K2 because they don't have alien number. Uh, the alien number is only the K1 or the beneficiary. So put it also the alien number to your the picture of the petitioner. So now uh, you need to bring also the birth certificate of your petitioner and also bring the birth certificate of the K-1. Make sure it's all um, the K-1 uh, ID that like the original, all, all of this are original. So PSA birth certificate of the K-1 and also the K-2. Uh, I have also the Sinomar. So make sure also that you have the Sinomar. If you're a widow, you need to bring also the uh the certificate of your husband or your wife and if you are also um an annulled person so bring the annulment paper so that right away you will be approved okay you don't have to process a lot of things and if your C or your petitioner is divorced bring the divorce if how many times he was divorced to so bring also that those divorce decree that he have then uh petitioner passport if you can bring uh, if you can photocopy the whole passport of your petitioner then go ahead but if you don't have if you have only the biographic um pictures so it's okay also the k1 passport you need to have the k1 passport and the k2 passport so if you have if you don't send the affidavit of support to the uscis you need to bring the U, the affidavit of support from your petitioner here in the u.s so that it will prove about uh, this affidavit of support prove how much he is earning okay uh, so everything is in affidavit of support. Make sure he sign everything because they're going to ask that. And then emails and chat logs. I remember they asked me this during the interview. They're asking me about the emails and the chat logs. And also they're asking me about the uh, travel uh, consent. 
con um, affidavit of consent to travel and i give it i give it to them because i went to because i bring my kids and then they thought that i'm that the father of the kids i will will stop us maybe or i don't know what's uh, they're just asking me this affidavit of support so i show them all the affidavit of support or the the agreement that we have with the kids father and also uh the consent affidavit of support and consent that i get from the lawyer it's only 150 pesos anyway so it's not that much and then i bring also the plane ticket the copy of the plane ticket so whatever that we send to the usais it's all copied okay i uh, it's like we have a second copy then engagement receipt we have engagement receipt also i bring the photocopy and also the original and also the proof of meeting in person during our um our engagement and then we have i bring also my copy of the album that we that me and my husband or my fancy before is we meet each other and then evidence of financial support these are the things that they really ask me the evidence of financial to, of support to prove that he is uh giving me financially especially during the process of the visa so that's more important during the process of the visa yeah uh, they need to know that you're uh, your fancy or your petitioner is the one who spent all of it. Then we bring also the copy of the x-ray, the pre-medical that we have before in case that they need it. So it's it's right away. They they will just get it. Then the kids school record. You, uh, those who, uh, those uh, mothers or those fancy or beneficiary that your kids uh, went to school already to your, to your country, you need to... Uh, you need to ask the principal or the teacher of your kids to give you the a record or the form 137 from your teachers if you are from the Philippines. Form 137, that's the record of your kids that they, they must continue their studies here in the U.S. Then my school records, this is my transcript of records from my uh, school, from where I go to college. And then I bring also the NBI. This NBI is about to expire, so I get another NBI and I put it there. Um, it's not this. It's not for working, but it's for travel abroad. And it stated um, NBI that is um, multi-purpose. Then I bring also police clearance. Even if I don't go to other country, I still bring an, a latest police clearance. So to make sure. So that no no escape from all of those requirements. Then and for those who are who travel from other country and you're you you will undergo an interview, make sure before you go to interview you will get the police clearance. If you are from Japan, uh, request a police clearance from Japan. And if you are from other China, Korea, um, or from other country, request a police clearance from from that country so that you are they will know that you are clear and then i have also my uh, id i have two kinds of id social security and voters id so i may i i made sure also that i have copy from that so this is the most important thing the itr or income tax return from my uh fancy or my husband right now that um it should be three years the 2015 16 17 and make sure the latest is 2018 that time that, that those are my time so make sure if you are filing right now if you will undergo an interview this time you make sure you have your 2019 2019 um i uh, know 2020 or 2019 uh w2 and itr because they need the latest one so if you have also your i-797c or your receipt you can bring that and your i-797 which is the approval that you are uh that your application is approved bring that also 
And another thing, always remember, bring the same as the same as this. It's in, it looked like this kind of folder. It stated that do not open. So make sure do not open that because the U.S. Embassy is the one who will open that uh, record from the St. Luke. Okay, so that envelope is very important during the interview. The word do not open. That, that kind of envelope. So now... These are the three kinds that the you uh, that the sent look gave me. The envelope that looked like this and it stated do not open. The, the CD and also the this kind of form, the form 3025. The purpose of this 3025 is that um, during the filing for during the filing for um, green card or adjustment of status. This 3025 is the one that you're going to send to the USCIS for the application of green card, okay? And this one, the, the chess radiograph, <laughs> it's like a souvenir for me and for me only because I, uh, I don't even open this. So uh, it's just like a souvenir for us. So just I just keep that. I just keep that um, CD even if the US Embassy or the... The immigration did not ask me that um, this this uh, CD. They just asked me the 3025, okay? The expiration on St. Luke medical uh, papers is two years. But the USCIS here are asking, the immigration are asking one year, one year expiration. So it's okay, one year and then we have... We have sent look that is two years, so the more we're, we're fine, okay? So that's all. The only one thing that they are asking me, only the W-2 latest and the latest and the ITR latest, then the NBI that is latest, the evidence of financial support, support the our album that my husband go there, and also the chat logs and the emails. That's what they are asking me. And also um, the photos and also the affidavit from their father like that, the, the agreement, the affidavit of support and consent from the lawyer. So if you, if you need to go, if you are just a guardian that you will bring the kids here in the U.S., uh, you need the DSWD certificate for the, that kid to travel, okay? And then... This the passport. The uh, it's really the the security guard already bring the passport. So after your interview, if they give you that um, two kinds of papers that is English and Tagalog that stated there nine one call nine one one in case of emergency. So you're approved already. Even if they give you the two two one G that is, you need to send some papers that is lacking, but it's okay. It's okay, no no problem with that, as long as you are already uh, approved, okay? They will not tell you that you're approved, but they will tell you that just call 911 in case of emergency when you are in the U.S., so meaning you are. And with their smile, you will know already that you are approved. So don't get nervous during the, um, during the interview because... Uh, you know what, when you go to, to St. Luke and also CFO, they ask you a lot of papers. And like in the U.S. Embassy interview, they will ask you just the papers that you needed. And and just always think, if you went to for the interview, all you have to do is think that that's the last step that you have to accomplish. And you will be with your, you will, you will be with your uh love the one that you love the most and you will you will stay together forever so just think about that don't get nervous they are good people there they want you to be with your lover they want you to be to be happy they are human they want you to be happy like they are like they like they have also in their life that they are happy so don't get nervous people at the u.s embassy they want to help you they want to make you happy so don't get nervous. Have a nice day and thank you for watching everyone. So if you have more questions, just comment down below and I am willing to answer as much as I can. It depends only. I mean, it's it's based only on my experience. Okay, so 
this things here, the infant letter and everything, infant letter, evidence of financial support, all of this here. Uh, I will teach you how to do this. So just check on the US visa process uh, to citizenship playlist that I have and everything are in there. So all the visa process and, and tell the citizenship, I'm going to share it all to you so that so that you can you can have an idea it may not be your papers are not like mine it may not be um uh it may not be like as as i arrange but uh i know you have your own idea on how to arrange your papers but at least if you have questions just comment and i am i am here to answer you if i will not answer you that fast maybe i am busy or i'm busy making more videos i am busy with my family but I will try my best to check all the time about the process because to help made me happy. I hope this is just a simple thing, but I hope it helped a lot. Simple, but helps a lot. Have a nice day and bye-bye everyone.